How's it going YouTube? It is Eric here and today we got the Hades Boon tier list and now I've got quite a bit of hours playing the Hades game and I just love it so much. I've actually beaten this game with 10 plus heat so I feel like I have enough knowledge now um, playing it at such a high difficulty that I can confidently say which boons are better than the others. Now if you guys disagree with anything or agree just let me know down in the comments below. And um, if you guys like this content, like and subscribe. And some of the criteria I am going to be doing for these boons is based off of one, how much damage, um, you know, increase they give you. Um, two, the usefulness of the boons that they give you. So maybe not the main attacks. Um, so not main attack, special, cast, dash, and the aid, the other aspects of the boon that it could potentially give you. Um, and versatility, you know, combining with the other boons as well. I won't get specifically into the duo boons, um, but that I, I do take that into effect. I just won't explain it in depth. Um, if you guys want anything more in depth, just let me know down in the comments. I can definitely give it, but I want this tier list video to not be as long as some of the other videos that you've seen out there. So let's just get right into it. We're going to start off with each of these tiers. Um, the more to the left it is, the better it is, and it will be ordered. So I'm going to go left to right. We're going to start with Aphrodite and then end on Zeus. And so with Aphrodite, this this boon is I have the, uh, you know, some of the aspects pulled up on my other monitor here. So I will be looking at that. If I do glance over, that's kind of what I'm looking at. But I already know Aphrodite is a must get. It has the highest damage increase in the game i believe with um for reference we're just doing common rarity um no rare epic or heroic um but common rarity it increases your attack by 50 percent your special by 80 percent um and it also inflicts weak and that's one of the best things and why aphrodite is a must get not only does it increase your damage the most out of all of the boons it also inflicts weak which um, makes the enemies do less damage to you so not only it gives you more attack but it also lets you take less damage which increases your survivability as well the cast is garbage it inflicts a like short range blast it's absolute garbage but it's okay you can get the cast from all the other boons just avoid the aphrodite cast um, the dash is okay the call is amazing if you get it fully charged up and then it shoots a heart out and it does a tremendous amount of damage and inflicts charm as well um it's just absolutely amazing and then let's see here it also you can also get some of the boons that reduce damage taken from foes um yeah it's pretty much one of the best boons out there so this is definitely a must get i'm just looking at um any of the ones you get and that's pretty much it um the only thing bad about this is the cast the cast is just not not good um but all the other aspects are definitely a must get and now on the flip side we're gonna go right into aries and now with aries this is a dang category like you see aries and like dang like this boon is not good um side note all of the boons here you definitely want to get before you know coins gems keys nectar especially late game if you have everything unlocked already in the in the lobby area um so but they these will all help you beat the game it's just that some of these are better than the others obviously so aries definitely not good it att your attack inflicts doom which takes a little bit of time and then hits hits the enemy with like the doom sword and then does a set amount of damage um starts off with common curse damage of 50 um same thing with your special the cast sends out a blade rift which isn't that amazing the aid is you the aid is probably one of the only better, only better things with Ares. Um, makes you invis invincible while dealing damage um, to anything that touches you, pretty much. Um, one of the best things about Ares is it just straight up increases your attack, special, and cast. It's called Urge to Kill. At common, it increases, um, increases your uh, damage by 10%. That's one of the best things about it. It's honestly really underwhelming 
it's just not good. Um, Blood Frenzy is is okay. It you know after you use Death Defiance, you deal more damage to that encounter. So that's especially good for bosses. If a boss kills you, then you just automatically deal 16% more damage. 15%, sorry. But Ares just isn't that good. So now let's go on to Artemis. And same thing with Artemis. It is a dang tier. It is ahead of Ares, but not by much. Uh, Artemis, it gives they, Artemis gives you critical chance. Um, and it makes your attack stronger by 20%. So let's compare that to, you know, Aphrodite. Aphrodite does 60%, Artemis does 20. That is absolutely nuts. Um it's just, you know, that's so high or 50%. I don't know what I said for Aphrodite. It's just the highest in the game. I know that. But Artemis not so much. And then you have a 15% chance to deal critical damage, which is decent, but like you want the damage now not a chance to do more damage if that makes sense um same thing with the special um and then the cast is okay it just it's seeking and then it does like uh like more damage one of the best things about artemis is probably uh shoot like none of these are that good it's just all about critical your critical does more damage your critical does this where well, i'm just looking at it and it's just not good um, the best thing is support fire. So after you cast, after you attack of any sort, attack, special, or cast, um, an arrow, a seeking arrow fires out. And that's just a super good passive. Um, that's the only thing really that Artemis has going for it. Um, other than that, it's just not that good. Um, so let's see here, Athena. And now Athena, woo! Going back up to the must get tier. It is actually the best boon in my opinion under the daedalus hammer this is the next thing you should get every time you see athena you should be going for athena straight away no questions asked and now athena does the second best damage just 40 increases your attack by 40 percent and your special by 60 percent but the one thing why i consider it better than aphrodite is that your attacks can deflect and that not only protects you from getting hit um, but it also inflicts more damage to any enemies that are attacking you with projectiles. And it just does way more damage, um, and especially with some of the weapons that either attack really fast or have an attack that stays out there for longer. I'm thinking of the Blitz shield um, that just stays out there. If you get deflect on it and stay in the shield, nothing can touch you. It is absolutely amazing. The aid is great. Um, it makes you impervious to all damage and you can still attack while you're doing it. So unlike the Ares and Poseidon where the aid um, makes you invincible but you can't attack, the Athena one you can attack. So you can still do crazy amounts of damage. The dash makes you deflect, it's great. Um, you also resist some damage from foes which is nice. One of the worst things is you resist damage from traps but you know. That's just one of them. Um, one of the other better things is it can give you another death defiance. So if you've died early in the run, you pick up Athena, you have a chance to get Deathless Stand, which replenishes one charge now and it makes your death defiance impervious for longer. Um, one of the duo things just right off the bat is if you have no death defiance, then you gain HP. I think it's Athena and Dionysus. Um, but yeah, it's just one of the best if it's definitely the best i i will hands down say that athena is the best boon out there um just from playing it even day one i thought it was one of the best boons uh just it just seemed really good um and now we're gonna go on to chaos so now chaos is hit or miss it's you know high risk high reward i'm gonna put it at decent tier and now I only say this because you have to give up HP in order to get this. And then not only do you have to give up HP, you have to suffer, you know, three, four, five encounters with a negative attribute in order to get the positive one. And the positive ones are oftentimes a lot better than what the negative uh, suffering you have to do for three to five encounters for. So a lot of times it can just straight up give you more damage. 
more attack damage, more special damage. It can give you another cast. Um, it can make boons be rarer. It can give you um, more dash attack, more health, um, and make coins or gems uh, worth more. So it's a you know it's a decent tier. If I would say anything below chaos, I would probably take chaos over it. Um, in my opinion, that's kind of how the ranking goes. And now we're gonna go with Demeter here. And Demeter, I will say, is decent as well. And Chaos is actually after it. So Demeter is better than Chaos. Demeter inflicts chill. Um, so, and it also increases your attack damage by 40% and your special by 60% at common rarity. And they inflict chill, which just makes your enemies uh, slower, and I think it also makes them attack slower, if I'm not wrong, which is actually pretty decent, but not amazing. The best thing about the meter, and why it's not a must-get tier, but it gets it really close, is that its cast is probably one of the best casts in the game if not the best i believe it's crystal beam you can just set send them out and it's a beam that stays for a few seconds um and it just shoots at the enemy so you can set these out and then continue attacking the enemy which is actually really nice um let's see the call is not the greatest but one of the best things about the meter is you can get a boon called rare crop and you can turn depending on the rarity one to three boons to common but then after every three encounters that those boons that turned common gain rarity so you can go to rare and then epic and then heroic so after nine encounters it gets to heroic so that is such a good um that's such a good investment and that's probably one of the best things the meter has um that's pretty much all it has the damage just is really good chill is decent the cast is amazing so the cast is really putting it above chaos there um so let's see what do we have next dionysus oh man i will be putting dionysus right after demeter this they kind of are close together um Dionysus is also very close to a musket, but any of the, anything at the musket level beats these for sure. Um, so Dionysus, your attack inflicts hangover where they can stack and then over time it does damage. Um, so that's what it does for the attack and the special. The cast is also very good. It lobs a ball that does a decent amount of damage, 100 damage at common rarity, and it stuns them uh for like a few seconds or anything that like uh gets into that fog and they get stunned um that's pretty much it the dash also inflicts hangover nothing's really good the only thing the attack wise i would not get dionysus for attack if you're struggling on health I, that is when i would get dionysus dionysus god of wine it is absolutely amazing for regaining your health um, so I'm going to go through some of these specific boons for Dionysus. After party, if your health is low after an encounter, you restore it to the threshold. At common, it's 30%, and then it goes to 37.5 at rare, 45% at epic, and then heroic at 60%. So say you have 100 health, and then overall health, and then you go down to like 5, and you finally clear that encounter, and you have this boon to 30 percent then you have 30 health that's just super amazing and then it only scales higher so the more health you get then the higher your minimum health is per each encounter so it has absolutely amazing um another thing is positive outlook to you take damage less damage while at 40 percent health or below um, and the damage resistance starts out at 10 so the higher the rarity the more damage resistance at heroic it's 25 percent um Premium Vintage, you gain more health when you receive a Nectar. So you get a Nectar. Not only do you get a Nectar, uh, you also get more health. Um, and then if you have you know, one of the mirror buffs that gives you, um, if you get a Nectar, then you also get like a random pom-pom. So you can also level up one item. So that's like a three in one for Nectar, which is kind of nice. 
Um, strong drink if you use a fountain it restores all of your health and then you also get a little bit of damage bonus um, at common it's three percent and then it goes one percent poor rarity up so that's also amazing it full heals you and gives you some damage boosts um, that's pretty much the best things about it is those health aspects keep dionysus up at decent tier at b tier if i do say so myself and now we have hermes at Hermes, we're gonna be putting this at the anything better. Is there anything better than Hermes? No, uh, then we're gonna take it. But if there is anything better than it, we'll probably take Chaos over Hermes. We'll probably take Dionysus or Demeter over Hermes. Hermes doesn't really help with your attack. It indirectly does. It's more of a support class. So um, it's more like a quality of life improvement. Um, you'll like I'm looking at it now make sure you can make your attack faster your special faster um, So you can attack faster, which is nice at common. It's 10% um, Your cast can fire faster at 20% at common rarity um, Your call can charge up automatically 1% every two seconds. That's like nothing you like attack more and gain more god gauge than that um one of the best things about it is hyper sprint um, for like 0.5 seconds after you sprint or dash, um, you become sturdy. And what sturdy does is you take less damage and then you also run like 100% faster. Um, that's kind of nice. Um, like a greater evasion is nice. You just have a flat out chance to dodge. At common, it's 10%. At heroic, it's 25. It goes up 5% per rarity um you can also it gives you more dashes which is nice you know having like one more dash if you have like three dashes as opposed to two which is kind of nice um that's about it hermes isn't that good it's more of a support class again like i said quality of life improvement you see this then you definitely want to you know you'll you definitely want to get it over artemis or hermes or aries sorry um, but anything at these levels, just not worth it really. Um, and so next we have Poseidon and now Poseidon is going to be a must get, but it's going to be after Aphrodite and Athena. And so the reason why this is a must get is it's got a decent amount of damage increase, 30% for your attack, 70% for your special. Um, but it also knocks foes away. So this is also really good. You can um, push enemies around. You can, especially at the lava area, you can push enemies into lava. You can push enemies against the wall that deals additional damage um, and bully them across and have them not hit you as well. So these, this is definitely as good, really good too. The cast is decent. You can fire it long range, pushes them away. So if you're getting too close, if you're using the bow, um, the cast is also really nice. Um, not only does it push enemies away the call is decent as well makes you invincible and you just run around and knock into people and and deal damage to them um let's see you can uh razor shoals you uh anything any of your boons that have um also have poseidon's attacks on it you can have you can inflict a rupture which um if enemies walk in their rupture they take damage so all the enemies basically take damage because they always walk um yeah and then your boons with knock away effects deal bonus damage to bosses you just straight up do more damage to bosses this is at like 20 percent starting with common um yeah that's pretty much it poseidon is great you'll you'll see that pushing enemies away is better than you think it is um and now for zeus zeus is going to be my controversial pick of the day and also for symmetry's sake, I'm gonna be putting it at anything better tier, but it's before Hermes. And now for Zeus, I just am not a fan of the lightning attacks. Um, the attack it gives you is you emit chain lightning when you damage a foe, and it starts out at 10 lightning damage. It's 10, 10 is nothing. Heroic is 20. That's like not that much better. And then it like bounces up to like four times. 
Um, and then it's reduced per damage, like per balance. It's like not that good. Same thing with the special. The special causes a lightning bolt to come down and it deals 30 damage. Not that good. The, the cast is the same thing. It's just electricity is not that good. Um, the only thing I would say for Zeus that would make it a must get is if you're running the Blitz Shield. If you're running the Blitz Shield, you definitely want to get Zeus for your special. Um, and I only say this because the Blitz Shield, it you throw out the shield and then like spins and then you can also attack while that shield is out. If you play it right um, and you throw it directly on an enemy that doesn't really move that much, lightning will continually come down as your shield is also hitting them at the same time. So that's the only time that Zeus is like a must get is when you have this shield. Other than that, it's like, okay, the lightning effects are, you know, decent. Your dash can cause a lightning bolt to strike nearby enemies. Your cast causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby enemies. Like, the call is decent if you are a close-up fighter. So if you have any of the melee weapons, not you know, so not the bow and not um, Eugrifus, Zagrifus, whatever the gun is. Um, but if you have the sword, the spear, and the fists, and the sh uh, shield, then the call is decent. It just strikes lightning on you. Um, so as long as you're on the enemy and it'll do a lot of damage um yeah other than that zeus is just underwhelming and it's, and it's kind of sad especially being you know basically the leader of all the gods um he's just not that good so this is my definitive tier list i hope it helps you out um you know with you're playing through this game or you know you see these boons this is definitely the my definitive tier list and it's kind of what i see if i'm comparing two boons to each other i always get you know these three first if i can so if you guys uh agree with this let me know and i'll probably be doing more if you guys hit that like button and comment down below i'll be doing other tier lists maybe the weapon aspect tier lists um maybe if you want to see extreme measures gameplay or you want to see heat ranking based on like what the easier uh, heats are as opposed to the harder ones. Just let me know in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much. Bye.